Good day, my little robins. It's me, Beth. Another week has passed, which means you get another video from well, me here on this channel. If you haven't already read the title, like May has come to an end, which means you get like another manga wrap up haul, pick up, whatever I decide to call this when I'm editing. I still haven't decided on the name. I decide that when I'm editing. Yes, the month of May has come and gone, and I have bought some manga, so I'm going to share it with like you guys. It's pretty self explanatory, you know, before we begin. If you want to support me and the channel in the future, you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can click subscribe and tap that bell to be notified of when I upload on this channel. Before we begin, I did have like another couple of volumes ordered. The series is Gleitnir, the anime is insane and they've been delayed so they were originally meant to be in this may haul but at this rate by the time they arrive it'll be in my june so you can expect gleitnir to be in my june haul so that's something to look forward to enough rambling let's just begin If you watch my April manga haul, you will know that I actually had Tokyo Ghoul Volume 8. Well, here's 7. I explained in that video that I ordered 7 and 8 at the same time. Number 8 arrived, but number 7 got lost in the post, and so they sent me a new copy. But it, got, it, it arrived after I'd uploaded that video, so I said that I was going to show number 7 this month. So, yeah. Tokyo Ghoul, Volume 7. I have to keep explaining to people, I have read this series in the past. I've borrowed it off friends. I've seen the anime. I just finally want to own the collection myself because I think it will look very nice on my shelf. So yeah, 7 and 8. Finally got 7. Up next, we have another former L Alchemist omnibus. This is Volume 7 through to 9. I love this cover because it's got my favourite character, Ling. Ah, I love him and I'm so happy that he's on a cover. Yeah, yeah, I know in the past people have an issue with omnibuses because they're like, oh, the pages are so much thinner, which is right, they are thinner than like when you get like an individual volume. But I can attest to the fact that I have like the first two volumes of Full Metal Alchemist and you have seen that I've purchased like the first two volumes of like One Piece as an omnibus. And now I have read like the first two omnibuses of Full Metal Alchemist at least three times since I showed them in the video and the spine is still perfect you know the pages are fine so I just think it might be like an aesthetic issue that people just have a problem with the fact that it's not individual volumes on a shelf this is 9 99 for three volumes so if you're on a budget I highly recommend omnibuses especially if you want to get into a new series I'm going to collect all of these so expect to see more in the future. I have finally picked up a volume 15 of Black Butler. I have been putting this series off purely because this is an arc that I have absolutely no interest in. Again, I, 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 I spoiler alert, I do know the Borden School arc because I've had friends who are obsessed with this series who kind of told me what happened and I was like, oh, after the not Titanic arc, this was a bit of a let this was a bit of a letdown, so I've kind of put off buying volume like 15 onwards purely because I'm like, oh I don't know if I'm gonna like the arc. But you know, since we've gone into lockdown and I've been picking up more volumes of series that I already own, I thought it was about time I bit the bullet and actually read it. And you know what guys? Like, yeah, okay, it's not the best arc out there, but it's actually not as bad as my friends made it out to be. So I think they were kind of like shitting with me and like joking with me because, yeah, like I said, it's not the best arc, the boarding school arc, ah, oh, Sebastian, but it's all right. It's kind of a bit of a letdown after the arcs that have come before it though. It wouldn't be a manga haul here on the channel if I didn't have another volume of Fire Force. This is volume 18, ah. Oh, I love Fire Force so much, it's such a good series. And there's been news recently that, you know, it's been announced that it's coming to an end, I believe maybe after like 20, volume 23. So I've still got five more volumes before that happens. I'm not really jumping on the train of Fire Force is dead because the anime is probably gonna continue. I've got at least five volumes left. So yeah, volume 18, yeah. if you like, I don't really know how to, keep describing it to people if you like firefighters and you like firefighters 
then maybe this series has got some of like the best characters and some people have been put off by the series by the anime because like oh it doesn't really explain the backstories the manga explains the backstories, like the motives behind certain characters, so you kind of have to read the manga. And you've also got to keep an open mind that, you know, the anime is like based off, I believe, what's shown so far is like at least the first 10 volumes. And this is volume 18, and like after volume 10, the story and the characters like kick off, so stick with it. And don't just base your opinion, you know, on the anime because Oh, the manga is amazing. The second to last volume I picked up, you know, this month is, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? That's right, guys. I love this series. I love the anime and I'm finally getting around, you know, to picking up the manga. Ah, oh, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just love the concept. It's one of those series which when you first like read the idea of like this guy, Belle, there's a goddess and you know they're working together and like she's in love with him but then it's like that typical anime trope where every single girl in the series is obsessed with the main lead which really infuriates this goddess and there's drama there's comedy you can watch the series the dub on netflix if you really want or you know, if you want more episodes, you can watch, like, the sub online. I'm not going to leave links because I don't want to get in trouble. But, yeah, it is very faithful. I would say at least this first volume is very faithful to, like, the opening of the anime. So, if it's going down that approach, I cannot wait to pick up more volumes. The only reason I picked up volume one is because I was running low on money, so I could only pick up one volume. But I'll be picking up more in the future. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? It's also a great mouthful to try and say after a few drinks. And the last volume I picked up is High School DD. Yeah, this is actually a series that's been recommended countless times like by my friends and I just haven't picked it up because I've gone like, hmm, seems a little cliche, you know, a boy falls in love with a girl, they go on a date, that girl kills him. He then turns into a devil and is like kind of like saved by this beautiful redhead who is also a devil. If that plot sounds familiar, it's kind of the opening of Tokyo Ghoul because guy likes girl, girl kills guy, guy becomes like a supernatural being and has to navigate a world where he's different and people don't like different. This is a series that's kind of very much like that, but this is like angels and like devils. And I've always been a fan of that concept. I love Supernatural, the TV show, and they milked like devils, angels, demons. So yeah, I'm actually kind of, I'm actually very happy with this series so far, but it's actually seeming to be very hard to pick this up online. Cause when I've looked on like the likes of Amazon, it is very expensive. So. Unfortunately, this might be a series that I have to like wait until, you know, Worlds Apart in Liverpool reopens so I can actually go in and buy the manga for like a good regular price because online I cannot find this series like cheap anywhere. It seems to be really overpriced. I don't know if it's because it's popular or, you know, they haven't printed a lot of copies, but yeah, this is definitely a series I want to continue, but I'm probably gonna have to wait until the shops reopen because online the prices are redonkulous but yeah if you want if you want a story about a boy falls for a girl killed by a girl becomes a supernatural being as i keep stating and you might want to pick this up because volume one on amazon is actually relatively like relatively good price so yeah that just wraps up my may manga haul pickup video collection you know, whatever I want to call this when I'm editing. In the comments, I'd love, you know, to hear like your guys' opinions on the series that I've picked up. Or if you want to recommend me a series, you know, the comments is the place to go. Let's just wrap up this video before I start rambling again. If you want to support, oh sorry, if you want to support me and the channel in the future, you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can click subscribe and tap that bell to be notified of when I upload on this channel. Until next time, I'm Beth. Keep reading manga, keep watching anime. Goodbye.